Hi guys, this is Satya from Garden.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install the latest iOS trading style control center on any Xiaomi phone running Hyper OS. So please take a backup of all these data on your phone and then let's get started. First of all, you will have to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Once you have unlocked the bootloader, do note that it will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. If that's well and good, you could refer to a guide and the video and get the job done. Once you have unlocked the bootloader, you also have to obtain root on your phone. You could do so via Magisk, Kernel, LC or Apache. As of now, I will advise you to use Magisk. So I have made a separate guide for all these three. You could refer to a guide and get the job done. Moreover, each of these three guides also have a video. As of now, I've used Magisk and I will recommend to use the Magisk method only. So in your, if your phone came with Android 12 or older version, you have to use the boot IMG on the other hand, if it came with Android 13 or, or a higher version, you would have to use the inner boot IMG file to get the job done. Or you may also use the kernel SU or APAC method to obtain root. As you could see, my phone is already rooted via Magisk. Once you have obtained root via Magisk, tap on the settings icon, then enable the toggle next to Zydisk. This is extremely important. And with this, the Zydisk will be enabled in Magisk. However, if you are rooting my kernel SU, then you will have to flash the Zydisk next patch. I have made a separate guide as well. Let me show you that. Just give me a second. So you may refer to my guide in case of kernel issue and flash the Zygis next module because in case of Zygis, there is no inbuilt option to get this job done. So in case of kernel issue and Apache, as opposed to Magis, you will not get the option to enable Zygis inside the app itself. So in both these apps, you will have to flash the Zygis next module to get the job done. Let me show you. So this is for the kernel issue, flash the Zygis next module from GitHub. Likewise, in case of Apache, also flash the Zygis next module and then the Zygis will be enabled. If you have obtained root via Magis, then you could simply enable Zygis from the settings menu. Once that is done, you will now have to install and set up the LSPOS framework on your phone. Again, I made a separate guide and a video. Still, I show you once again how to get this job done. So, once you have enabled Zygis, you will now have to download the LSPOS framework corresponding to the OS version. So if you are running Android 14 or higher version, let's say Android 15 or Android 15 beta build, then you have to use the fork 1 or fork 2. I recommend fork 2. On the other hand, if you're on Android 13 or 14, then you could use this official version as well. So let me show you for the Zygis LS post. It is now archived and the only last working version was January 8, 2024. So it will only work with Android 14. If you are on Android 15, then you will have to use this module which I have shown over here in the fork 2 section. Let me show you. This is for Android 15 as you could see. So get hold of the LSPOS framework. Make sure that it's the Zygisk release and not the Riru one. So download the Zygisk release and once you have got the framework, let's now flash it via Magisk. So launch the Magisk app, go to the module section, tap on install from storage. And you have to now choose the LSPOS zip file. Tap on OK. It will now be flashed. Once the flashing is done, you will also have to install the LSPOS APK. So if you are not aware of this, then the LSPOS APK is there inside the LSPOS zip file only. So let me show you. This is the LSPOS zip. Go inside there and you will see a file in the manager.apk. Simply install this file. And with this, you will then get the LSPOS app as well. So I've already done the extraction. If you haven't done so, then simply extract the LSPOS zip file. Any, and then choose extract, it will extract and then you will get all this file. Let me show you. This is the manager.apk file. Simply install the apk file. And now we have got the LSPOS app as well. Now that we have installed the LSPOS and the LSPOS apk, let's proceed ahead with the next step. So you will now have to install the hypercellular module on your phone as well. So flash it from here, get hold of the module. And once you've got the module apk file, Let's install the APK file as well. So just give me a second. This is the hypercellular module. Tap on install. And once that is done, tap on done. And now you will have to restart your phone. This restart is compulsory. So tap on reboot. So we have saved some time and did a restart only after flashing a couple of modules. Although you will have to restart your phone after enabling Zygis, then after flashing LS post, and then after flashing hypercellular as well. But we saved some time and Combine all the three steps and now we are doing a restart just to save some additional time. And once you reboot, 
you will now have to enable the hypercellular module in ls post i'll show you how to do so and then only a couple of more modules are remaining so now that our phone is booted to the os you will wait have to wait for a few seconds then launch ls post and go to the module section from ls post first of all make sure that the ls post is activated and running as you could see now go to modules choose hypercellular and enable the module once that is done launch the hypercellular module from here you will get a magic request or this and tap on grant if you have obtained it by kernel su then you will have to manually open the kernel su app and enable the toggle next to hypercellular under the super su or super user tab in case of kernel su and api you will have to manually get that job done in case of magic you will get the prompt over here here itself once you have enabled the super user toggle go to system framework and now enable the toggle next to disable digest verify then enable bypass shared user signature verify disable compare signature and enhance mode i have given these four names over here as well let's verify them once so these are the four toggles that you have to enable once you have enabled all these four toggles you will now have to flash the apk protection module as well so download the module from my guide then go to magisk modules install from storage and then choose the apk protection module tap on okay it will now flash the module and the flashing could take up to around a couple of minutes the flashing process is quite lengthy so you might be wondering why we are flashing so many modules just to get an ios 18 style control center well zomi has made and patched quite a few restrictions as a result of which you will not be able to change or modify many of the system framework and system ui files so to carry out these tweaks you will have to disable and turn off the verification checks on your phone and that is why we have to take the help of hypercellular module and after that also the apk protection patch module this will turn off all the verification and all the checks and signature on your phone once we have turned off all these checks we could then easily flash the module which is the ios 18 style control center module and then the os the hyper os will no longer cause any issue whatsoever so these are the reason why we have to flash both of these module and the hypercellular module in itself requires the ls post framework so that is why we had to use the ls post framework as well and as you could see the flashing of this module takes up some time because it's quite heavy in size and it will first decompile all the files and then recompile the files as well so the flashing could take up to a couple of minutes that is completely normal and nothing to worry about so let's just wait for a few more seconds and once the flashing has been done you will then have to restart your phone again this restart is compulsory and not optional and once that is done you could then get hold of the ios 18 style control center apk from this link and install the apk as well and the module has been flashed once that is done let's now install the apk as well so let me search for the apk file this is the version 15 system update ui as you could see so this is the apk file the version 15 system ui apk which has been renamed to ios 18 control center apk let me show you what i mean so let me open this link and as you could see the naming is as follows it's named as ios 18 control center version 15 system ui plugin update so this is the naming scheme you now have to flash this module by magisk as well so let's flash it first and then we will restart our phone so tap on install from storage and now select the version 15 system ui again i'm repeating this module is named as ios 18 control center apk so don't get confused between both of them but so tap on okay it will now be flash it will take only a few seconds and once that is done you will now have to tap on reboot and that's it our task has complete upon this reboot the our os control center will be replaced by the ios 18 control center and we will get the same tiles which is seen in the latest ios update so let's wait for a few more seconds and then we could verify the result as well do know that during this time frame your phone will take up some additional time to boot up which is completely normal and nothing to worry about because we have just flashed a few modules so the boot up might be a little bit lengthy in some rare cases so give it a few more seconds to boot up and once our phone is in the os let me just verify it once if all the modules are up and running or not so go to magisk then go to the module section 
and as you could see all the modules are now running the hyper os control center mod is also now running and let me launch the ls post and the tab on ok and the hyper seller seller module is also up and running so now let's have a look at the result let's expand the control center and as you could see we have got the ios 18 style tiles for the connectivity as well as the video playing let me play a video and you will then see it over here as well so let me first open my any of my videos and turn off the sound and as you could see the video player should be shown here as you could see it's showing for the youtube video then in a similar manner you may increase or decrease the brightness and as you could see the rest of the elements have been gone and you only have the brightness ladder similar to how it's shown in the ios then you could also enable or disable goggles from here then you may hit the plus icon and add and remove more tiles from here which correspond to your needs so guys on that note i round up this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching